Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's go ahead and get started. And come to the center of the mat. Bring the hands to rest on the knees. Let the shoulders relax, or shoulders, elbows relax underneath the shoulders. <laughs> Close your eyes and begin inhaling and exhaling through the nose that slight constriction in the back of the throat. Taking a second to just connect with your breath. Me inhaling for a count of three, holding at the top, and then exhaling for a count of three. Do that a few more times. Go ahead and shift sideways on the mat. Bring your knees as wide as the mat, the big toes together to touch. Sit back onto the heels and hinge forward at your hips for your child's pose. Keep the knees wide, bring the arms straight out in front of you. This is gonna be more of an active child's pose because you're actively reaching towards the top of the mat and your elbows are gonna stay lifted. Make sure that your fingers are spread evenly here. As you reach towards the top of the mat, try to pull your glutes as close to your heels as you can. Really finding length in the spine and the side body as you do this. A more ch passive child's pose. Lift up about halfway onto the hands, press into the hands, bring the knees together. Still sitting back on the heels. Relax the arms back by your side and just bring your forehead down to the mat. So this is gonna be more of a passive child's pose. Your palms are facing up because you're more receiving here, but the shoulders are relaxing down towards your chin. We're not really working hard here. This is more of a re restorative pose. And the next inhale, rise up to your tabletop. Here, the hands are directly below the shoulders. The hips are above the knees. Belly button's being drawn up in towards the spine. You've got about a fist distance between your chin and the chest and the gaze is down. Drop the belly, bring the eyes and tail high for cow spine. Firmly press into the hands, round the spine, bring the chin to the chest. Puff up your back, almost like a Halloween cat. Inhale, drop the belly, bring the eyes and tail high again. Exhale, go back to your cat. Firmly press into the hands. Really create space there between the shoulder blades. Inhale, come back to your cow. Go ahead and flow through this three more times with your own breath. Just getting some mobility in the spine going. Once you met me back in tabletop, I'll know you're ready to move on. I'm gonna do some lateral flexions this time. Begin to bring the right shoulder towards the right hip and then look over that right shoulder as you do so. Almost like you're making a C shape here with your spine. Release, come back to center. C shape to the left, making that left hip and left shoulder come together. We're looking over at that. Release, come back to center. Go ahead and C shape to the right once more. Come back to center. Take it to the left. Go ahead and flow through both sides. One more time each. With your own breath there. From here, we're gonna do what I like to call disco kitty. You're just gonna kind of Flow through your cat cows and your lateral flexions, maybe pulling back to your child's pose, just getting mobility in the spine, doing whatever feels good here, just stretching it all out. Maybe making circles with your head, bringing your chin up.
Once you're in tabletop, and I know you're ready to go back on to the next thing. Extend your right arm out like you're about to shake hands with somebody. The bicep's right by the ear here, and your arm's parallel to the mat. The left leg's gonna go straight back. Keep the toes on the mat at first. Find your stability here. Draw the belly button up in towards the spine. Lift those left toes up off the mat so that that left leg is parallel to the ground. Really reaching for both sides of the room here. Flex the toes in towards your nose. It's gonna help with your balance. Inhale to find more length. As you exhale, bring that right elbow to your left knee. Crunch everything underneath of the body. Bring the elbow to touch the knee, the opposite, the right knee. There you go, right underneath the body. Perfect. Reach out, reach for both sides of the room again. And then draw it in, crunch underneath the body once more. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Perfect. Release it out, really reaching for both sides of the room again. One more time, bring your opposite knee to your opposite elbow. Perfect, reach for both sides of the room this time. Really feeling length in this whole body. Bend your knee, point your toes to that left foot. Reach back with the right hand, grab your left foot on the knife edge side. Keep your hips and your shoulders square to the mat. Begin to kick into the hand. It's getting a nice stretch in the back and the side body here. Release, reaching for both sides of the room again. Slowly come back down into your tabletop. Again, checking your alignment here in table. Switching sides, the left arm's gonna go out like you're about to shake hands. The right arm goes back, or the right leg, left leg, excuse me, goes back like you're, <laughs> I don't know my left or my right today. The right leg goes back, keep the toes on the mat at first. And then lift up once you've found your stability, reaching for both sides of the room. Keep those right toes flexed in. And as you exhale, crunch underneath the body, bring the left elbow to the right knee. Extend, reaching for both sides of the room again. Draw it in, crunch underneath the body, bring the opposite elbow to the knee. Reach for both sides of the room once more. Crunch it underneath the body. Inhale, lengthen out. This time, point your toes, bend your knee, reach back, grab for the foot on the knife edge side. Keep the hips and shoulders square to the mat. The gaze is down, kick into your hand. Release it out, reaching for both sides of the room once more. Slowly come down into your tabletop. We're gonna open up to our side plank on the right side. So the right knee is gonna be almost like a kickstand. Pivot open to the left here. The left foot comes parallel to the right knee. The right hand is directly underneath of your shoulder and the left arm goes up here. So your arms are at six and 12. Your knees down to support you here. Really reaching, reaching, reaching for the sky. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, take that left leg, try to Aligned in the hip socket, bring it parallel to the ground here. Good, release it back down. Slowly fold back into your tabletop. Switching sides, the left leg becomes your kickstand. Pivot open here. Bring that right foot parallel to the left knee. Bring your hands to six and 12. Really reaching for the sky. That right foot's flat on the mat. The next inhale, lift that right leg up. Try to bring it parallel to the hip socket and the mat. Release it down. Slowly fold back into your tabletop. Keeping our knees down today, we're gonna go through our warrior poses with the knees down to kind of get a feel for the alignment in the groin and the hip area. So from your tabletop, Take the right foot, step it in between the two hands. You're gonna pivot on the left knee open. 
So you've got like an open stance here. This right foot, the toes are pointing towards the small end of the mat. Your hips are open so that you're using the left leg like a kickstand, kind of like how we press our side plank. Now your hips are gonna square towards the top of the mat in the same direction as that front foot and your biceps come up to frame your face. So you've got a little bit of an opening here, not a whole lot for warrior one. For warrior two, it's the same stance right here. You're gonna twist your torso open though so that you're facing the long end of the mat and your arms come out to a T. So it's a little bit more of an opening here in the groin. Do you feel this, that slight difference there? Now reverse warrior, you're gonna drop the left hand down next to the left leg or bring it to the small of the back, whichever you prefer. And you bring your arm up like you're high-fiving the back wall and the gaze goes up here. The bend in that front knee stays exactly the same in all three poses, you notice that? It's really just the opening here in the hips and the side. And then the turn just slightly. So then you'll cartwheel the hands down to the mat to frame that front foot. Pivot your knee back so that you're facing the long end of the mat again and then come back to your tabletop nice and slowly. Switching sides, the left leg's gonna come up between the two hands. Use your right leg as a kickstand again, aligning the knee and the foot, the back, or the knee and the heel, rising up, squaring the hips to the top of the mat here. The gaze is forward and your biceps frame your face. You're grounding down evenly through your knee and your foot here, really reaching for the sky and finding length in the side body. As you open up, twist your torso just slightly, open to the right, bring both arms out like you're reaching in both directions. You're actively being pulled in both sides of the room here. The right hand's gonna come down the leg or to the small of the back. The left hand's gonna come up you're reaching up and bringing the gaze up, high-fiving that back wall for your reverse warrior. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame that front foot. Pivot your knee back and your toes to face the long end of the mat, and slowly come into your tabletop again. Tuck the toes. Engage the core, draw the belly button up in towards the spine. Lift your knees about two inches above the mat for your beast pose. Bring the gaze slightly forward here. Just working on our core. Go ahead and bring the knees back down onto the mat. Sit back onto the heels. Separate your knees wide. Bring the forehead down and reach towards the top of the mat again for your child's pose. Actively reaching towards the top of the mat and pulling your hips towards the back. Inhale, rise back up, coming into your tabletop position once more. This time, take the right foot, step it between your two hands and rise up. Still keeping the hips square to the top of the mat. Bring your arms to frame your face. This is our crescent lunge with the knee down or low lunge with the knee down. Bring the hands into heart center. Grow tall through the spine. Take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, look right, twist right. Lock your elbow on your knee. Firmly press the hands together and bring your gaze up over that right shoulder. Again, make sure you're not clenching the jaw. Inhale to find more length. As you exhale, try to twist a little bit deeper for me. Release it out, bring both hands to frame that front foot. Come back to your tabletop, nice and slow. Switching sides, the left foot comes between the two hands. Engage the core, ground down through your foot and your knee and round up, bring your biceps to frame your face. Again, finding length in the side body, really reaching for the sky here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Find more length in the spine. Then look left and twist left. Locking the elbow and the knee, firmly press the hands. 
Bring your gaze over the left shoulder. Release, bring the hands down to frame the mat. This time, or to frame the foot, this time take that right foot, step it forward, come into your forward fold. Heel toe your feet out about a hip distance. That's the length of a dollar bill or two fists. Bend real deeply at the knees, relax the torso on the thighs, grab for opposite elbows, and then just let your head and neck hang down. Focusing on a decompression in the spine here. Reversing the effects of gravity on the lower vertebrae and the lumbar spine when we do this. Maybe nod your head yes. You shake your head no. You sway from side to side. Make some circles with your shoulders. Right, go ahead and release the hands down to the mat. Heel toe your feet back together so that your big toes are touching. There's a little space between the ankles. Halfway lift up, draw the belly button up in towards the spine, really engage the core here. Make sure your back is nice and flat. Fold forward, release down. Drop the hips, reverse swan dive up. Upward salute, reaching tall here. Drop the right hand down to the right leg and then begin to tilt over to the right with your left fingers really reaching to the right side here. Draw the left shoulder back some, right shoulder forward some, and keep your chin up. Inhale, come back to center, bring both arms up. And exhale, drop the left arm down, reach to the left with those right fingertips. Checking in with your breath. Creating space in the intercostals and in between the ribs here. Inhale, come back up to center, bring both arms up. Exhale, slowly release the hands down to heart center. Taking a minute to set a dedication or intention for today's practice. Inhale, upward salute, reach tall. Exhale, fold forward, release down, plant your hands. Step back to your plank pose, but drop your knees once you get there. We're gonna do our modified plank today. The hands are directly below the shoulders. We've got one long line of energy from the crown of the head to the base of the glutes. Draw that belly button up in towards the spine. Chaturanga is when we lower all the way down to the mat, but the important thing is when you learn how to do this, that you keep the elbows tucked in closely here. So you're gonna come all the way down to the belly, keeping those elbows tucked in real, real close. Because once you get down here, you're flat onto your belly and you come into your baby cobra. Baby cobra, the hands stay exactly where they're at. The thighs and the tops of the feet are firmly rooted down. You're actively pulling your shoulder blades and your elbows down and back and your neck stays long here. Because then after this, you're gonna tuck your toes and you push up to your plank. Again, keep the knees down. We're doing our modified version of plank. And then you would hoist your hips up and back to downward facing dog, but we're just coming into our tabletop this time. From table to bring back between the engage your come up, bring the biceps to frame the face. Step the right foot forward in between the two hands and then round, round up, bring biceps to frame the face. Open up, warrior two. You're gonna pivot the knee so it's a kickstand again. You're reaching for both sides of the room. There you go, perfect, yep. Bring the left hand to the small of the back. Reverse your warrior, high five the back wall, bring the gaze up. Open back up to warrior two. Pivot around, come back up into your crescent lunge with the knee down. Biceps are framing the face, good job. Bring both hands down to frame the front foot. Come back to tabletop. 
Checking your alignment, bring the knees together. Moving into your modified plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale up to your baby cobra. Tops of the feet and thighs are rooted down. Your neck is long. Pulling those shoulder blades down and back. Tuck the toes. Push into the hands. Come back up to your modified plank. Shift back into your tabletop nice and slowly. Bring the left foot between the two hands. Engage the core, round up, bring your biceps to frame your face here for your crescent lunge with the knee down. Really reaching for the sky. Pivot open to the left, reaching for both sides of the room here for your warrior two once more. Lean forward, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior, high five the back wall. Bring the gaze up. Take a deep breath in. Open it up again to your warrior two, reaching for both sides of the room. Pivot that knee so that it comes to face the small end of the mat. Bring the biceps up again to your crescent lunge with the knee down. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, bring the hands down to frame that front foot. Come back to your modified plank. Draw the belly button up in towards the spine. Lower all the way down to your belly. It's almost like a half push up here. Inhale up to your baby cobra. Push up to your tabletop. Go ahead and keep the knees together here. Sit back onto the heels, come back into your child's pose. Make it a passive child's pose this time. So relax the arms back by your side. Let the shoulders fall heavy towards your chin and your palms come to face up. Again, connecting with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose with that slight constriction in the back of the throat. Scanning through your body, noticing how you feel right now. Inhale, come back up. Swing the legs out in front of you this time. Give them a good wiggle and a good shake. Keep the right leg extended straight out. The left foot is gonna come to the inside of your right thigh. Ground down through your sit bones, sit up nice and tall, make sure the back is nice and straight. Flex the toes of the right foot in towards your nose. Reach tall with both arms, draw that belly button up in towards the spine. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, hinge forward at the hips, grabbing for your shin, your ankle or your foot. Trying to bring your forehead down to your knee or as close to it as you can. It's getting a nice stretch in the hamstrings, the thighs, maybe even the lower back area too. Release, slowly round up. Drop the left hand behind you on the mat. You're gonna press into the left hand and the left knee and rainbow the hips up towards the sky. The right hand's gonna come to frame your face and you can just relax the head and neck back and down. Really pushing the hips forward. Nice little mini back bend here. Maybe make circles with your arm in one direction. Stopping and going in the other direction. Good, release back down onto the glutes. Switching sides, extend the left leg straight out this time. The right foot's coming to the inside of your thigh. Ground down through the sit bones. Flex the left toes in, reach tall. Take a big deep breath, and as you exhale, hinge forward, trying to bring your knee or your forehead close to your knee. Release, slowly rise up. The right hand's coming behind you this time. Press into the right hand and the right knee. Pull those hips up, the left arm's coming to frame the face, 
Relax your head and neck back. Again, making circles with the arm in one direction. Stopping and going in the other. Come back down onto the glutes. Working on our core right now, we're gonna try boat pose. Ground down through the sit bones. Bring the feet flat onto the mat and the knees are bent in front of you. Very easy way to do this to start out. Hold on to your shins, like, and come up like this. Engaging the core, try to balance on your sacrum and your sit bones here. Keep the back nice and flat, holding on to the shins and bringing the shins parallel to the ground. It's gonna help with your stability. Once you get the stability and you find that spot that you're able to balance on, try to release the hands out by your side. Really engaging the core here. If you're able to do that, try to straighten the legs all the way. Keeping the toes flexed in. Good job, release, come back to center. Slowly lower all the way down onto your back. Give me one big morning stretch. Really reaching from fingers to toes. We're gonna start at a low boat. So staying here on your back, bring your arms out like this, kind of like you're reaching for your shins, but you're not. Exhale fully as you inhale, lift up, so that the head and the heels are about three or four inches above the mat, just engaging the core. Still keeping the core engaged, try to lift up to your half boat. Hold steady in the half boat. Once you find your stability, release the arms, come into your full boat. Good job, slowly lower all the way back down onto the mat. Give yourself another big morning stretch. Flip over onto your belly. Bring your arms out like goal posts. Keep your spine in a neutral position. Lift the right leg up off the mat about three or four inches. Bend the knee, point the toe. Begin to twist your torso open to the right, bringing that right foot to touch the mat behind you or as close to it as you can. Just getting a nice stretch in the back side body and across the chest and shoulders here. Release, come back to center nice and slowly. Take a couple breaths here in the middle. Lift the left leg up, point the toes, bend your knee. Slowly twist open to the left this time, bringing the left leg to the ground behind you or as close to it as you can. Release, come back to center. Bring the hands up underneath of your shoulders, pushing back up to your tabletop. Again, checking your alignment here in tabletop. One of my favorite poses, thread the needle. Make sure the hands are directly below the shoulders, the hips are above the knees. Inhale the right arm up, bring the gaze up towards those right fingertips. As you exhale, thread that right hand underneath of the left. Your right cheek comes down to the mat and your left arm extends straight out. Let everything be heavy and fall into the mat here. Bring the left hand down in front of your face. Press into it. Bring the torso up off of the mat. And then bring the right arm back up to the sky, looking up again at those right fingertips, slowly folding down. 
Check your alignment here and center at tabletop. The next inhale, bring the left arm high. Look up. As you exhale, thread that left arm underneath the right. Left cheek comes to the mat. Right arm extends out in front of you. Bring the right hand in front of your face, press yourself up, and extend the left arm back up to the sky. Bring the gaze tall again. Exhale, coming down into your tabletop. Swing the legs around in front of you once more. Scoot the sit bones as close to your, your heels as you can. And slowly lower all the way down onto your back. When you reach down, you should be able to graze the heels with your fingertips. Moving into our bridge pose, pull the pelvis and the lower back down so that it's flat onto the mat and then round up, really pushing through the glutes and your feet here. You have the option to stay right here or you can pull the shoulder blades down and back going a little bit deeper into your bridge pose, really pushing those glutes up towards the sky here. Keep the neck long, you don't want to crunch the chin in towards the chest. A little bit more of a challenge here this morning since we had an easy practice. Take the right leg and try to extend it up towards the sky, pushing the heel up towards the sky here. Good job, release back down. Switching sides, take the left leg, try to bring the left leg up. Good job, lean back down. Release the hands, slowly lower down, one vertebrae at a time. Step your feet out wide to the edges of the mat. Bring your arms out to a T. Let your knees fall to the left. Bring your gaze to the right. Bring everything back to center. Knees fall to the left. Gaze goes right. Bring everything back to center and then just wiper blade your legs from the left into the right a few times. Bring the feet flat to the mat about hip distance apart. Extend both legs up towards the sky for your waterfall pose. Align the hips in the hip socket. Flex the toes in towards the nose. Legs up the wall is considered the kale of yoga. It's one of the greatest postures for all over health. It helps with cardiovascular health, it helps with insomnia, it helps with circulation. You only have five minutes a day to do anything, this should be the pose that you choose. Listen carefully with very little momentum and a whole lot of core strength. We're gonna engage our core and our lower abdominals. Keep the spine in a neutral position. We're gonna bring our feet up over our head to try to touch the mat behind us. Again, make sure you keep your neck in a neutral position. We wanna protect against the cervical spine. Don't worry if the feet don't quite touch the ground behind you, it's okay. Bring the hands to the small of the back for more support for our plow pose here. Slowly with control, keeping the hands in the small of the back, bring the legs straight up to the sky, pointing the toes towards the ceiling for our shoulder stand. We want one long line of energy from our toes to our shoulders. Shoulder stand's great because it reverses the flow of lymph in the body, which is awesome for immunity. Try to hang out here for a little bit longer if you can. Bring all the benefits of flushing out our system. Separate the legs real wide, bend your knees a whole lot. Bring your knees to frame your face or as close to it as you can, or by, right by your ears for your deaf man's pose. Good 
bend the knees, slowly lower down, one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow with control. <laughs> Bring the feet flat onto the mat. Extend both legs straight out long. Draw your right knee up and in towards your chest. Flex the left toes in towards your nose. Really squeeze that right knee up in towards your armpit. Take a big deep breath in as you exhale. Drape that right knee across the body. The gaze goes left. Your left arm goes out, or excuse me, the right arm goes out, the gaze goes right. Let's see that backwards again. Release, come back to center, really squeezing that right knee up in towards the armpit, and then letting it go down and out. Switching sides. The right toes stay flexed in, the left knee comes up in towards your armpit, really squeeze it in tight here. Take a big deep breath in and as you exhale, drape that knee across the body, the left arm goes out and the gaze goes out. Make sure you keep your hips stacked here. Release. Come back to center. Draw both knees up in towards your armpits this time. Grab for the bottoms of your feet. Simultaneously pushing and pulling on the feet while we flatten our back into the mat here for our happy baby. If it feels good, maybe rocking from side to side, massaging the muscles of the spine. Go ahead and draw both knees in towards your chest. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Squeeze everything in towards the midline. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Letting go of any tension or leftover toxins in the body. Squeezing it all out of here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. One big deep breath in and as you exhale, release everything out. Bring your legs to come long. Let your heels come together and your toes fall wide. Walk the shoulders down away from your ears. Bring the palms to face up and we'll close your eyes. Again, focusing on your breath here. Noticing how you feel after your practice today. Relax your face, unclench the jaw. Relax the shoulders, feel the arms fall heavy by your side. Begin to notice the rise and the fall of the belly. With every exhale, feel yourself falling deeper into relaxation. Feel the hips sinking heavy into the mat. Soften the thighs, unlock the knees. Relax the shins and the calves. The feet fall heavy by the side. For the next few minutes, just let your mind and body absorb our practice.
wherever your attention may have drifted, bring it back to the rise and the fall of the belly. You're wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes. You're turning your head from left to right. Just bringing awareness back into the body and back into the room. So keeping the eyes closed or downcast, maybe reaching up overhead, giving yourself a big morning stretch again from fingertips to toes, really waking up the whole body once more. Remember it feels good, pushing yourself back up to an easy seat. No need to rush. Bring the hands into heart center. Namaste means that the light in me honors the light in you. Thank you for letting me guide you through your moving meditation today. Namaste.